Hey everyone, in this video I want to expand on what we talked about in the last video. That is, I want to show you how we can test to see if a function has an inverse or not. If you missed our previous video on some of the theory behind inverse functions, I will leave a link in the description below for you to do so. Okay, before we begin, I just want to clarify a few things. So, we call a function that does have an inverse a one-to-one -one function, and the horizontal line test is just a way of testing this. So, we can use the horizontal line test to tell us if a function is one-to-one. -one. So, what does a one-to-one -one function look like? Well, it is quite simple. A one-to-one -one function, a function with an inverse, will only ever have a single y value for any given input. Just like our previously mentioned vertical line test, to test whether we had a function or not. This horizontal line test will tell us if our function has an inverse or not. To better understand this, we should talk about what an inverse function looks like graphically, as I feel like this will help make this concept easier to understand. Well, let's say we had our function from last video, 6x plus 2. Graphically, this looks like the following. Does this pass the horizontal line test? Well, yes it does. Anywhere we draw a horizontal line on this function, we will never encounter a single output more than once for any domain input of negative infinity to positive infinity. So, we know that this is a one-to-one -one function as every input will only ever map to one output, and vice versa is true. Every output on this function will only ever equal a single input. Well, what does the inverse of this function look like? Well, we found it in the last video to be, once we switched our input and output, x minus 2 over 6. And graphically, this looks like the following. If you plot a function with its inverse function, that will always be symmetric about y equals x, which is pretty cool. Now, what happens if we have a function with no inverse? Well, let's look at a simple parabola. It is clear from this graph that we do not have a one-to-one -one function, as this clearly fails the horizontal line test. But intuitively, why doesn't this function have an inverse? Well, firstly, if we draw a line about y equals x symmetry line, it is clear that these two sides are not symmetric. So, our function that produces a parabola is x squared. To find the inverse of this function, remember we solve for x, and then we swap x and y, just to keep the nomenclature from our former output, y, is now our new input, x. Well, this gives us the square root of x, which looks like the following graphically. But, observing this, it is clearly not a function, as it fails the vertical line test. Therefore, the function x squared does not have an inverse as it fails the horizontal line test. One last thing I want to add here is that all these things that we have been talking about are considered over the whole domain. So, for example, if I added some absolute brackets around my x squared term, well, that means we can't have a negative values, and therefore our function now looks like this graphically. Since our domain now does not have any negative numbers, well, now we can actually invert this function as our graph looks like this, and this clearly is a function, and the horizontal line test is passed. Just be careful with domains, as teachers can sometimes be a little tricky with these sorts of problems. Just take your time, and you'll have no problems. So, in summary, any function that fails the horizontal line test does not have an inverse function. Thank you for checking out this video, and I hope it helped your understanding of how we can use the horizontal line test to check if a function is invertible or not. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our Patreon page to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.